Whenever you're logged into the system and you're out in the front of the site, you will have access to the WordPress administrative bar right here. Whatever page that you're currently on, one of the things that you'll notice up here in the bar will be this option to edit page. And when you click on that, that will take you into the editor so that you can actually edit this page. Pages in this system are built with a visual editor. This visual editor creates short codes behind the scenes so that you can add content and create complex layouts without writing any code whatsoever. As you'll see, if you look through the content on this visual page builder right here, and if I were to open the page in a new tab, I could go through this section by section and show you what you see here. For instance, right here we have a better way to invest, which you see right up here. That's the content for that. Right down there, right down below that, we have a divider, and you'll see we have indeed do have a horizontal divider right there. Below that, we have a revolution slider, which is our slider that's, um, that's uh, going through these uh, images we have in our slideshow. Below that, we have a blank spacer and another divider, which is this area right here and a divider right here. Then we have text content, a divider, more text content, another blank spacer, a divider. We have a section of text right here with a short code, which is for our features. And then we have another divider, a video, a divider, some text content for the disclaimer, and another divider. And as we come out here and we look through this, we see all this reflected out here. There's our contact information. Here's where that short code was, and these are the features that that short code puts out here. To edit these, um, these are actually custom post types. We'll go over editing those in another video. Right below there, we see we have our video right here, and then we have two dividers that are surround that is surrounding our disclaimer content. Now, one of the nice things about this particular interface is you can at you can move these items around for instance if i wanted the revolution slider above a better way to invest i could go ahead and move that all the way up and then of course i would want to move up my blank spacer and my divider as well and if i update that i come out to the front of the site and once that has updated I can refresh the page. And now you'll see that at the very top of the page is now my revolution slider. And directly below that is a better way to invest, and it is bracketed between two different horizontal rules, which, is, which are referred to as dividers here. And then I have some blank space between the slider and this divider right here, which is represented by this right here. I don't actually want this. I want to, I like the way that it was before, so I'm going to go ahead and change that back. I'm going to pull my revolution slider down here underneath a better way to invest. I'm going to bring this divider down underneath a better way to invest, and I'm going to bring my blank spacer down right below the revolution slider the way it was before. When I'm done with that, I'm going to click update, and when I come out here and refresh the page, once again, we'll see that the changes that we made in the back once again are reflected out front here immediately. We have our revolution slider below the title here bracketed by our horizontal rules and we have a space directly below that. As we'll scroll down further one of the things you'll see is this text content here and if I come in to the administrative interface here and I scroll down a little bit I see text content right here but as I click on it, I notice that I can drag that anywhere I want to to rearrange it on the page, but I can't edit it by clicking on it. To edit any one of these modules, up here in the corner of the module, you'll see three different shortcut icons. The first one is to delete the module, and it will, if you click on that, it will say press OK to delete or cancel to leave. I'm going to cancel because I don't want to delete that. The next one is to clone that particular uh, module. If I were to click on that, you'll see right below that, I get the exact same module with the exact same content in it, clone directly below. I don't want that, so I'm going to go ahead and click on OK, to, or I'm going to go ahead and click on the delete button and delete that. 
The next icon I have is a little pencil icon. If I hover over it, I get an edit screen. And when I click on that, my screen changes. And it brings up a nice, what you see is what you get editor that um, has very, very common uh, features that you see in programs like Microsoft Word and such. And when you hover over these, you'll see you'll get a little, you'll get a little uh, tooltip that'll pop up telling you exactly what they do. Um, this is, uh, if, if you come in here and you see something that looks like this with no options, that means that you're actually in the text portion or the code editor. Just click visual so that you'll come back into the visual editor and you'll see all of your icons up here. If you only see one level of icon, come over here until, it's, until you hover over and it says toolbar toggle. If you click that, then you'll get all of your icons. You can make whatever changes you want and make whatever additions that you want to the area. And when you're done, come down and click save and then remember to come up and click update. Always remember once you're done, whenever you make any changes on any module whatsoever, whenever you're done, you need to save that module and then update the page for those changes to become live in the front of the site. In the next video, we're going to go through WordPress widgets and menus.